welcome to the first ever Bowdoin Hangout. We are live here at Somerset House as we pick the brains of some of our favourite fashion bloggers. The Bowdoin's head designer, Justine, who will see you. We've got Alison, uh, Laura Fantacci, who's uh, from Red Magazine. And we also have Christine from a wonderful blog called Fashion Chips. Here we are, we're head to toe in the new collection. Feeling right at home, uh, head to toe bonus thing. In colour, for the first time, but also a clashing print. Yeah. Just going for it. I am. Yeah. Uh, also online, we want to say hi to our lovely Bowdoin customers who are at home on both sides of the pond. How do you create a signature look when there are so many gorgeous things to choose from? My tip would be to always think of your lifestyle, like whatever you're doing in the day. And so if you find a colour or a shape that suits you, do buy a few more of that style. And what were the key inspirations or themes behind the Spring Summer 2014 collection? Sort of 1950s and 60s trend, that lovely swishy 50s feel and vintage prints. Every season we go off to lots of antique fairs and vintage archives and all these sort of ice creamy sort of sorbet colours. So that's a big trend for the season. Stripes. There's so many stripes and I think that's the whole joy of Bowdoin where you've got that personality coming through. The Bowdoin customer is really diverse so I'd really like you to describe the woman that you designed for. What they all want is versatile, effortless, um, stylish clothes that, um, for a very carefree lifestyle. I was wondering if you've got any tips for being stylish every day when you're a busy mum. Becoming a mum can actually make you more stylish, apart from the fact that you know, you're covered in yoghurt and children, which is <laughs> never a brilliant look. I love wearing colour, but I'm not sure that I always get it right. If you're wearing your simple jeans, even if you were just wearing simple black or simple navy, just a pop of colour from some shoes, just gives you that little bit of confidence. Lovely to speak to you. Until next time, thank you for watching.